What's up anglers? Our people at the Spillway Fishing Club have partnered up with NMA and they are doing the Run of the Reds Charity Fishing Tournament. It's happening November the 14th this year. Um, if y'all are looking to catch some fish and help out a good cause, this is it. Uh, Betty's number is at the top. You can call her with any questions and her PayPal address is on the bottom for you joining. You can search by uh, Facebook and um, and get more information or whatever but uh, this is a good cause i think y'all should check it out if y'all are interested all right guys tight lines and god bless What is up my anglers, my Dirty Bay anglers? I'm actually in the Dirty Bay today. I am in Trinity Bay. I just put in down here at this park. Gonna check out the spillway today. Normally this time of year, it's full of flounder and redfish and trout and whatever, so. Uh, the weather has been crazy this year. It is, today's uh, Tuesday, October 27th. You know, they're saying there's uh, supposed to be north, northeast wind. It feels like it's blowing more out of the east. And it is uh, blowing a lot harder than they thought, they said it was going to, because, uh, I mean, I'm getting a little bit of waves. You can probably hear them crashing over my bow over there. But uh, anyway, I've got to uh, try to catch some mullet. Mullet are usually hard to find. Uh, this time of year, they start moving out. Man, I found some good jumbo shrimp. <laughs> I wish I'd have been prepared. I'd have been eating those, but I'm gonna use them for bait. Got some good pinfish. I'm hope to get some, uh, hope to hook up on a bull red or something today, man. That'd be nice. Uh, I don't fish this area much anymore because it is a chore getting your kayak up and down that hill at the park, man. Uh, a lot of people don't do it because of that. And, you know, Spillway gets full of boats, man. And a lot of people, when you get a lot of boats, in an area like that, you get a lot of people who ain't got no respect, man. So, you know, I don't like dealing with that much. And, you know, plus it's a lot it's a lot funner to go out, pull up Google Maps and find a place that nobody goes to and find fish, you know. It's, it's a lot funner for me. But anyway, uh, this place is five minutes from my house and I felt like sleeping a little late this morning. So I decided to come out here and check it out and maybe put some flounder in my freezer. So uh, I'll, tell, I'll see y'all when I get there. And uh, anyway, if y'all uh, notice I look a little different, man. I got in a little accident, had half my hair ripped out, so I had to cut it all off. So it is what it is, man. And uh, uh, we live and learn. Right on, brothers. Uh, tight lines and God bless. I'll see y'all out there. Hopefully I'll show you how to catch some fish at the spillway. And hopefully it's not super crowded on a Tuesday, but man, <laughs> no promises, bro. Oh, see them lights way down there? That's the spillway. That's where I'm heading. But anyway, anyway, too, man, uh, inside, you know, I, I used to fish out here for years and uh, never even went in the spillway. I went past it. There's a lot of good areas past the spillway. You got Red's Bio. Um, the shoreline between Reds and um, the spillway. You can uh, put in there and wade during the summer, man, and pick up a uh, redfish left and right. Right outside the spillway, there's reefs around, and there's a lot of good areas out here, man. You don't just have to, when the spillway's not hitting, you can always go out and find more fish. Uh, I am kind of curious. We had a lot of rain up north. 
that should be uh, sending a lot of water down the Trinity, Old River, Cedar Bio, and uh, the water is about two foot uh, higher than it normally is this time of year. We hadn't had a good north wind and we had hurricanes come through. <laughs> but anyway, uh, it's all part of the fun. It's all part of the game, man. Tight lines and God bless. pull up into the spillway. Looks like there's four boats in there already. <laughs> right on. I'm gonna go over there and pot lake. <laughs> stole my flounder. Felt the big bump, looked down, saw the tail come up. Flounder's gone. That's why I like carrying a nice chest, man. I hate
podcast. Got him. What we got? Nice trout. Found a school trout out here, guys. Right on, and there's a keeper. Feeding over here inside these birds. See? Did you see that pup pop up in the middle? Watch, right, I'm gonna get one, dude. See that? He's hitting. Got him. Got him. Got me a trap. Got me a trap. Got him. Yeah, that's a good one too. That's a good. I think that's a keeper. Trout there. That was a good trout. Busting out of the water over there. See that? Slime all over me. Chasing them shrimps coming out of the marshes. Look at that. Look at there. Look at there. Oh, oh, I may have two on that one now. Oh, that tandem rig. That tandem, oh, that tandem rig just got two of them. <laughs> Look at that. Keeper and a non-keeper. <laughs> right on, fellas. That's what we're that's what we love coming out here for. Look at that. I love <laughs> some signs some signs are so awesome dude. You just know the fish are there. Another keeper guys. Right on guys, what an awesome day. I'm like, we're completely surrounded by speckled trout. There he goes, there he goes, got it. Inside the uh, spillway. Okay. 
catch nothing. Great day today, uh, man. I was disappointed. Didn't think it was going to be good. You know, spillway is hit or miss. It's either hot or it's not. Uh, saw some, some people catching some trout. Uh, I think I saw some small black drums being caught. Uh, man, but I've been out. This year's been crazy. Last year, this time, you were everybody was limited out on flounder. We were getting redfish and trout. You know. Uh, you know that's why I come down here because I'm not a super big flounder fisherman <laughs> and here it gets kind of easy. I don't like uh, all the boats being close to each other. I like to fish alone man. Don't like to be around a lot of people. Uh, but you know I uh, caught sand trout. I uh, caught that nice flounder man that that stupid gar stole off my stringer. That's always why I carry an ice chest but today I didn't stop and get no ice. So anyway, um, anyway, so uh, I was catching them on the lures, my tandem rig, uh, caught the flounder with a mullet live bait. Um, it's pretty neat. So like, I uh, wasn't was disappointed. I was gonna check the reefs that I was telling you about earlier that are outside the spillway, and saw birds working everywhere, man. And we chased them down. Me and another boat chased them down and pulled in trout after trout. I was double, I was doubling up on big, you know, 17, 18 inch trout, nice trout. You know, normally you find them birds, you gotta fight the dinks to get the good ones, but I was limited out like that. And then I was just having fun catching fish, man. That's, that's, a, that's some nice fishing right there, man. You know, uh, my spirits had been down since my accident. I hadn't really been uh, feeling good and uh, my, uh, my fishing hadn't been uh, up to par as it normally is, you know, and uh, this has really lifted my spirits up and uh, helped me out a little bit. So, uh, but uh, uh, yeah, anyway, so let's see. I was just using the tandem rig, man, uh, and I was using dirty bait lures. Uh, I had some marshmallows, man. I was just grabbing stuff out of my box, you know. I mean, when when they're feeding like that, you can pretty much throw anything at them. And I saw shrimp in their mouths. So they were chasing schools of shrimp. Um, so that was fun, man. I mean, uh, I don't really like coming this way because it's a, it's a big chore to get it down the hill at this park, and that's really the only place to go to put your kayak in. I mean, you can get here and boat. Hugo boat ramp's about eight miles away if you want to kayak eight miles. Uh, Thompson's is further, <laughs> way further. So, uh, but uh, I mean, it's a chore for a hit or miss, but like I said, there's lots of good places summertime to, to wade fish there's reefs there's other places i've always found other fish around the spillway besides just going into the spillway so uh appreciate you guys watching man uh i hope y'all learned something from what i'm doing man um if you got any questions just uh hit the comments uh i'll, I'll answer uh, whatever i can man and uh whatever i picked up i'll help y'all out um, tight lines and God bless and don't forget to subscribe hit the like and uh, hit the bell for alerts guys hope to see y'all out here on the water tight lines and God bless